Okay, so in this class, we'll discuss question 70 to 73 on your tissue node, okay? So we'll go to question number 70. Okay, so this deals with the mm, sign convention. Sign convention. Okay, sign convention or new Cartesian sign convention or new Cartesian sign convention for lenses okay for lenses so this is the same as the rule is the same as mirror but for lenses the nature and the position is different from mirror so we have to be careful with this on your notebook you divide it into two halves on the right and left and let us say on the left we draw a convex lens on the right we draw a concave lens okay let us do that so here you just draw a simple convex lens. Let's so say this is the one, the optical center here. And here we draw a concave lens, simple one. Optical center, then Let's place an object here. So this is your convex side. And this side represents your concave. Now let us, the rule is the object should always be placed on the left. But before that, you draw your focus from here to here, maybe three centimeter. And here, three, so F1 and F2. Then, three and three maybe that will be a good distance let's say this is your object we have put your object a b and let's write here object let's draw a ray here parallel to principal axis just to indicate and it will go to the focus after refraction because in lenses it refract so this is the refracted ray and in the last class, in the formation of image by convex lens, we have learned that all the real and inverted image are on the right side like this. So let this one represent all real and inverted image. Okay. And then we found out that here, okay, so slight for you, it's fine with him. For me, a slight adjustment here. So this is the object then here. Let me say the object is here. This is the object A, B. Then we found out that this convex lens can form two types of images. Real inverted on the right side of the lens and virtual erect on the left side of the lens behind the object. We learned that the last case and the image was taller than, bigger than, magnified bigger than the object. So this is the uh, virtual and erect image. It's always on the left side, real inverted on the right side, right? So the sign convention is the same rule as that for mirror. So if you see here, the ray passing go to F2. So the distance between this focus, F2, and this O optical center we learned in our previous classes was called focal length small f. Since it's measured on the right, so focal length of convex lens is always positive plus, right? Then here, you can see here very clearly, the distance between this image and this optical center. Here is V, it is called V, image distance. And it's on the right side, so it's plus. So V is plus when it is really inverted the reason is because really inverted is on the right we are measuring v on the right then here 
So focus is this one because the ray passes through here. So we won't take into consideration this one for sign convention. Then the distance between this object and the optical center here. Let's call the object distance u, as you can see, always on the left, so minus. So we do that. Then the distance between this virtual erect image and this optical center here, this is the image distance. So there are two types of image distance possible. When real inverted, here right side. When virtually erect behind object, it is measured on the left side v. So in such a case, it is minus. So remember this. V is minus when it is virtually erect and plus when it is real inverted. This is just opposite to the mirrors. Okay, for mirrors, real inverted is on the left, so minus, and virtual erect is behind the mirror on the right, so plus. So don't get confused with that, okay, as we do the numericals. Then for the distances that are above the line principal axis here and below, this here is the height of the image, hi, below principal axis is minus. So it's minus when real inverted, an object is above, so HO, this will be plus because above the principal axis. Then here, this one is the HI, HI, it is above, so it is plus, HI is therefore plus, right, HI is therefore, so here HI is plus because it is above virtual erect is plus real inverted is below principal axis so hi is minus so here we have two m possible m when it is real and inverted you can see formula is hi by ho m formula so here hi is minus when it's real inverted ho always plus so m will come out as minus therefore when it's real inverted and m will be plus when it is virtually rig because you see virtually rig is hi plus by ho plus so keep that in mind for a concave lens it's quite simple about three centimeter maybe you can take three centimeter here f1 uh, f1 is this side for concave f2 is this side okay f1 f2 okay so here let's put an object object is here so this is your object a b let us say <clears throat> now we saw that all the you may just draw a ray parallel principal axis if you like this ray look as if it's coming from the focus so here this is the case and here we know only one type of image is formed that is virtually erect between o and we have learned this in our previous class for Formation of image by this is HI always virtually erect. Concave can never form real inverted on the right, like convex mirror. So we need to keep that in mind and then we do this one. This distance between this image, only one type of image, virtually erect, and O is the image distance. So we'll always get only one type of V, which is on the left side, so minus because virtually rig is always left side and it's impossible for concave lens to form real inverted so you will never get v plus when solving finding the value for v for concave lens if you get then something is wrong in your solving you have to recheck it then the f look coming from here not here so this time the f is on the left so here this distance between f1 and o is the focal length now minus c so here minus f is always minus for concave here f the ray is going right side so f is plus here the ray which is coming from left look as if it's coming from left here the wave coming from left go to the right so plus here the ray look as if coming from here so this side we measure left side then here the distance between this one object and the optical center here it's called the object distance u and we know left side so minus and it's quite simple here this one hi is above principal axis as you can see so plus this also ho above principal axis so plus 
Right, so for m, there is only one type of m value, plus always, because it only forms virtually rec. So m can never be negative for concave lens. These are the sign conventions, okay? Same as mirror rule is right side plus left side minus, above the principal axis plus, below, minus. But the main thing difference you have to know is, for lenses, really inverted is on the right, but for mirror, really inverted is on the left, so v will be minus. But for lenses, really in the vertices on the right, so V will be plus. That's the difference. For lenses, virtually rake image is on the left, so V is minus. For mirrors, virtually rake is on the right side behind the mirror, so it is plus. That is the point of confusion for many students, so be careful with it. Okay, so here, these are the sign conventions, 70. We need to know this clearly if you want to do your numericals comfortably. Okay, so go to the next one, 70. One, two, three, I think we can just read directly from your note also. It'll be fine, so let us go and see. Question number 70, now you read, you will understand yourself. 71, what is lens formula? Let me read it. The equation which gives the relationship between image distance V, object distance U, and the focal length F of a spherical mirror lens is called lens formula. Mirror formula, we already know, one by V plus one by U equal to one by F. So the equivalent formula for lens, lens formula is the formula that gives the relationship between V, U, and F. And lens formula is 1 by V minus 1 by U equal to 1 by F. Mirror is 1 by V plus 1 by U equal to 1 by F. This is for mirrors. This is for lenses. So next, question 72. Define magnification for spherical lenses. The ratio means division of the height of image to the height of the object of a spherical lens is called magnification or we can also call it as linear magnification. So question number 72. M equal to ratio of height of image by height of object. This ratio is called magnification or linear magnification. Then there is another question, 73. Define magnification in terms of V and U. So M will be equal to, for mirror we already know, minus V by U. This is for mirror. But for lenses, the equivalent formula is V by U and no minus. So it is image distance divided by object distance. For mirror, it is image distance divided by object distance with a minus sign in front. That's the main difference. So 73. That concludes the portion for this class. We will continue in the next class. Okay. Okay.